The tablet PC is a computer without a lot of the stuff you'd come to expect. It doesn't have a, a trackpad or the little button thing or a keyboard. Instead, the entire face of the device is its input. So you, you can touch and drag with your finger, or use a stylus to write on it like you would a book. Tablet PCs have been around for quite a while, but uh, there's a lot of rumors this year about uh, some companies coming out with some new innovative things. Steve Ballmer at his keynote talked about how Microsoft is really pushing for some new technology, but he didn't announce anything concrete. So everybody's kind of holding their breath right now, expecting big things for tablets this year, but not really sure exactly what's coming. I showed you these three examples. Maybe I'll just drill down a little bit on this example from, from Hewlett Packard. This is a, a sort of a prototype of a coming uh, HP Slate PC that'll be here this year. It's a, a beautiful little, little product. The product that Steve Ballmer unveiled at the uh, Microsoft keynote on Wednesday night is an HP Slate product. It is a real product and it will ship in 2010. We're not announcing names, pricing, um, our data availability, but it is a real product and, we will, and we're pretty excited about it. We think the category uh, is going to be a very interesting category for 2010. So here at CES, HP announced 19 products. This is one of them. This is what we call TM2. It's a consumer tablet that has not only the full tablet capabilities that you normally would see in a tablet, but also has all so full touch capabilities. Some of the features that we have on it, obviously, is all the full touch capabilities, but you can also do, there's some interesting applications on here the photographs and canvas, so this is the ability to manipulate and interact with kind of images that you've got, so you can actually play with your photographs, you can resize them, you can scale them, um, you can uh, crop them, you can adjust them, and uh, again, do it all, rather than doing it with a mouse and, and such, you can reach out and touch it with your fingers. Not only does it act like a normal laptop, but you can actually flip the entire screen around, close that lid, and now you get the benefit of being able literally to hold it in your lap you're good for about four hours, and depending on what power features you turn on, you can even get longer battery life. There's a lot of new devices that people are talking about coming out. HP just uh, released a new tablet, but everybody seems like they're really holding their breath waiting for Apple to do something. And Apple's been working on the technologies that will go into a tablet for 20 years. The big thing that people seem to be waiting for is what Apple will do in the space. And there's been a lot of concrete rumors that Apple will be introducing a tablet sometime this year. Talk is that they'll announce it later this month in January, and it'll actually ship probably a few months later. I saw one that has e-ink, like the Kindle, on one side, and then you flip it over, and on the other side you have a full screen touchscreens and you can write with a stylus on either side. This is the Entourage Edge. It's the world's first dual book, which means it has an e-reader on one side and a color touchscreen on the other. Uh, the touchscreen works like a netbook. It runs Google Android, which means that any apps for the Google smartphone called the Droid will work on this device. Uh, we also have our own app called the Library that lets you store a variety of content types, including images, audio, video, magazines, books. Any books that are in EPUB or PDF format, you can read on the e-reader side. Uh, you can also write in the margins, highlight text, or if you need more room for writing text, we have a journal application that lets you handwrite notes and email them to yourself as a PDF. Now, uh, this is not just two separate devices. It's one device with two screens. So the two screens interact. For example, you can highlight a word and search for it online. You can search in Google or Wikipedia, full color web browsing, um, or search within the book or on the dictionary. You can also view grayscale images on color in the touch screen or open multimedia links, attaching your own content or uh, using web links that are already in the eBooks. This is a it is a product that is a marriage between a smartphone and a netbook. So that's why we call it a smartbook. The uh, system that's run on is uh, Linux OS. The potential is that we want to target at the retail price of this product at approximately $200 or less. Well, first of all, this product is just like a tablet PC. As you can see, I hold it in my hand right here. And like any PC, you can do anything that a PC can do. For example, if you want to visit some uh, website, then obviously you can go to the website right here, and then you can do the keyboard up here, and then you bring up, you can type your keyboards in here. So A, B, C, or whatever, you know, you can keyboard and save. Or you want to watch a movie, then you click here. Open up. So it's loading a movie, and it's, it's very light. It's less than, um, less than a pound. When you're at home, for example, you don't want to work it as a tablet, then 
you can just take it out and then you dock into a keyboard and it become a your own PC right there. I've seen dozens of tablet PCs here at CES, but we're not really sure exactly what the next thing is going to be until Apple makes their announcement at the end of January.